This is called Narcan. It's a life-saving drug used for people who are experiencing an opioid overdose. And there is a nonprofit right here in Boise that's trying to stock vending machines full of them across bars in the city. But they say they're running into a problem because of a new law. Every day it's hard. His birthday will be on Saturday and he'll be 30. Um, would have been 30. Kelly Hamaker lost her son, Jake, in 2020 to a fentanyl overdose. I love his beard. I know, me too. Yeah. He's gorgeous. He used to say he looked like Jesus. <laughs> it changes your life. It rips a hole in your family. Now, her goal is to save as many lives as possible. She says that's why she's working with a nonprofit, the Boise Seal Project. And their goal is big. Our can distributed anywhere we can, from the bars to music halls. Uh, we want to go with universities where there's a vending machine that, you know, it's viable because there's a frat or sorority. Narcan is used to treat opioid overdoses in emergency situations. The Boise Seal Project says Narcan vending machines make the drug accessible in a country where opioid-related deaths are growing each year. The Boise Seal Project says Mulligan's Bar, which is right behind me, is going to be the first bar to get a vending machine, but they don't want to stop there. They want to continue to bars all across Boise to keep people safe. But the group says now they have a hurdle. During this year's legislative session, the Idaho legislature passed House Bill 350, which dealt with funding for the Department of Health and Welfare. One line in the bill said that grant money that would be used to get Narcan will only be available to first responders. And they're not using that funding, the government funding for those grants to supply, you know, your everyday restaurant, your everyday bar and music scene with that Narcan. The Boise Seal Project thinks that first responders carrying Narcan is good, but if more civilians had Narcan, they could help even quicker. Hemaker is sad about the new law and says it reinforces the stigma about opioid overdoses. But I think it's a lot of old school people maybe that think um, if Narcan's out there that that's just going to make people want to go do drugs again, but really it's just giving these kids, these people a second chance of life. Now, the Boise Seal Project is raising funds, and you can find all that information on our website at IdahoNews6.com. In Boise, Brennan Jones, Idaho News 6.